It has been said that a man is the sum of all his parts. Let me share with you some of the parts of Francisco Miguel Carlos Branco de Madrid. A childhood story. Imagine a quiet little boy, a hot summer's day in Spain. He walks into the water and gets wet. He takes his bathers off, gives them to his mum. Why? Well, they were wet, weren't they? That's Frank's logic. At 12, he arrived in Melbourne. He left school at lunchtime to go home to eat. He saw a car go past with driving school written on it. Uh-oh, the school police looking for me. I met Frank when he was 19. I think it was his smile that got me hooked. We had real fun back then. Frank was different and he didn't care. He was 21 when Maggie was born. He was still a kid himself. Frank's a concrete thinker. He loves building things, tinkering. He built the church for us. Well, n not quite, but near enough. It was our dream home. When Frank cut himself, he bled for longer than he should. A visit to the doctor diagnosed hep C. In the middle of renovating the flat in St Kilda, we had our time of crisis. More than 12 months of end-stage liver disease, the hep C had done its damage. It brought Frank to a stop, almost permanently. It was humbling to see a man so strong accept his powerlessness. That has passed now, although the hep C is still there, waiting in the wings. Ten years later, and Frank is 50, the extension at Port Melbourne has begun, sort of. When that's done, we will build our retirement retreat at Peterborough. That's it. That's Frank. A dreamer, a planner, a practical man. <laughs>